the Foxy Spirit, and most hentai abuse champion in League. To counter this furry, make sure to pick someone like LeBlanc with extreme mobility to dodge Ari's engage attempts and gain some distance whenever she needs chasing or running away. Swain can focus on building a lot of MR, and Yasuo can windwall the heck out of all of her abilities. Syndra can keep some distance and force distance if she engages, Diana can all in and complicate her charming attempts, and Talon who can burst her down in no time are other viable counters too. Ari's passive is called Essence Theft, and it passively makes her gain stacks whenever she hits abilities. At 9 stacks, her next ability will heal her for each enemy it hits. Her Q throw is an orb that goes forth dealing magic damage and comes back dealing true damage. While it's traveling, she gains a small movement speed buff. Her W summons 3 flames that target an enemy and after the first one hits, the other ones deal 30% less damage to the same target. Her E blows a kiss that deals magic damage and charms them, and her ultimate allows her to dash 3 times while also firing up to 3 energy bolts for each dash. Pre-6, she'll need to hit her E and then Q for magic and true damage, but after 6, hitting it becomes quite simple with her ultimate dashes. When laning, stay behind or near the minion line to prevent yourself from getting charmed, but don't get hit by her Qs when she's farming. Aries take almost exclusively Ignite, with a few exceptions here and there when they might take Ghosts. You'll take Ignite as well if you want to burst her down and prevent her from healing with her passive, but Teleport versus Ignite, if you know how to play passive, is an interesting choice too. Ari has a few early level power spikes, like 2 when she gets her E and Q, but her main level power spike comes from acquiring her ultimate. As for items, she'll go for an early Ludens if she wants to burst you down, or Morel and Omicon if you're giving her sustain problems. She's especially good in the mid game since her damage falls off slightly compared to other mid laners in the late game. Building just a bit of magic resistance like Banshees can instantly disrupt her combo, so think about it. Thank you for tuning in, good luck in your match, and remember, stay near minions but don't get poked down by her farming attempt for free, punish her if she misses her charm, and make sure to bully her if her ultimate is down since her mobility and defenses will be really low.